To help you review for the second exam, we're going to look back now through lessons 17 through 26 and the material we've covered during that time. Let's get started. We began by developing an understanding of functions. We asked the question, what is a function? As you learned, a function pairs each input value with exactly one output value, which means we can figure out if a graph represents a function by using the vertical line test. We then looked at domain and range, as well as explored what it means for a function to be either even or odd. From there, we investigated the overall shape of a function, going all the way from minus infinity to infinity in the domain, looking at whether it's increasing or decreasing and whether it has maximum and minimum points. This led to a discussion about finding real zeros, which, as you remember, are the x-coordinates of a graph's x-intercepts, and we used a polynomial long division to help us along the way. To help us narrow down the list of possible rational zeros for a polynomial function, we used the rational zero theorem. When we couldn't find the exact values of zeros that we could see on graphs, the intermediate value theorem helped us approximate their locations. With piecewise functions, we got to put together some really interesting graphs and start thinking more about domain and range. This prepared us to work with rational functions, whose vertical, horizontal, and slant asymptotes restrict their domains and ranges in particular ways. Lastly, we explored transformations of functions. Rigid transformations include vertical and horizontal shifts, as well as reflections in the x and y axis. Non-rigid transformations, on the other hand, distort the shape of functions by stretching or shrinking them. We encourage you to review the practice problems at the end of each lesson, the problem sets, and the summary review videos. Best of luck to you. We know you'll do well.